Hey guys, it's Teenage Code here. I recently made another GTA clone where I actually had driving implemented into it, um, and I just wanted to share how I did that. It's actually really quick and easy the way that Godot has it set up. All you really have to do is put in a vehicle body node, and then you have to add in a few things to it. Um, so of course you gotta have in your mesh instance. So I've got this car right here, um, and then you also need a shape for that car. Yeah, I believe the game treats it as a rigid body. The next thing is you need to attach four wheels to your car, vehicle wheel 3D, um, and then you position them wherever you want to. Now the nice thing about these is that it's going to rotate the mesh and everything else, anything that's underneath the wheel. Now on these four tires, it's important that you hit use as traction for all of them, because that's the only way that those tires will actually be interacting with the ground and allowing the vehicle body to move forward. And for the front two tires, you're also going to want use as steering so that your car can move left and right. That's how we get uh, left and right, uh, just by adjusting that steering variable. As you can see, my back wheels here do not have that use as steering. Um, another way to actually make the car move forward is super simple. The code for this is like dead simple, um, and it works both the same in Godot 4 and Godot 3. The only difference is that you don't put that in Godot 3. The three main things that are actually needed are going to be your acceleration and depending on how large your car is, this can actually really vary. For my GTA clone, I had this at 1500. Um, your braking speed, this is actually probably way too much for the current car. Um, and then steering sensitivity, I had mine at 0.1 for the GTA clone. Um, so now speed isn't actually needed. The idea is that in st like after a certain point, you're not actually going to be braking anymore, you, instead you're going to be uh, moving backwards and reverse accelerating, but this doesn't work, this is really janky, so I mean you can feel free to change that however you want. Um, really the only thing that you actually have to do is apply acceleration to engine force. That's the variable that comes with the vehicle body and that will make um, all the respective tires move. So as you can see this works. I'm able to click the keys and get it to move however I want it to. The only issue of course is that it is tipping absurdly a lot. Now if you want to avoid tippiness one thing that you can do is uh, change where all of your nodes are in uh, relation to the root node so if you go higher with it and lower with it that can change just how tippy the car is going to be and you'll see now that car is not tipping nearly as much as it just was so that's pretty cool um, there is one nice little hack that you can also do to make it always land at the you know, bottom of the car and that is to get rid of the rectangle shape and instead use a capsule shape cool. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Bye-bye.